Good morning. Are you ready to wake up your pelvic floor? Here are some exercises to begin your day. We're going to lie down on our backs. So you can do this one when you're in bed before you get up in the morning. If you have a firm enough bed, if you have a really soft bed, sometimes it's a little challenging. Let's find our neutral spine by straightening out our legs and taking one foot in and then the other and keeping our nice neutral pelvis. We're going to inhale, prepare, and then just exhale. No Kegel, just setting your intention. Breathing in through your nose. We're getting that diaphragm breathing, exhale. Just relax all the tension out of your body. Now we're gonna start doing pelvic clock. So you're going to tilt the pelvis back and then to your neutral tripod again of the pelvis. And then we're gonna arch your back, creating more space underneath and then back. You don't have to do this really forcefully, just going nice and gentle. Let's go side to side. So tilting one hip down and then back to your center and then tilting the other hip down and back to center. The knees don't move too much here. We're just really trying to isolate the pelvis and back to center. Now pelvic clock is where you tilt the pelvis back and then you're imagining you're drawing a circle in the sand with your pelvis as you rotate the pelvis around in a circle and you may find that you don't really reach as far one way with the pelvis as you can with the other. And then back to your center. We're going to tilt our pelvises back again and then over to the other side, reaching through that pelvis, feeling where your stiff joints are, all the way down, expanding that space over to the side and then back up again and then to your center. Let's do it one more time each way, going to the back over to the side, the legs are relaxed, your hips, your front of your hips are relaxed as well, so you're not forcing anything too much, around to the other side, and then back, big breath in, <sighs> take that pelvis back, reach, reach, reach over to the side, down towards your tailbone and around. Don't be surprised that you can't go one way as much as the other, or if you feel it's quite stiff with the first one and then it starts to loosen off a little bit. And then back to your center. Now this one, we're going to add our Kegel. So that does all the kind of little muscles in your low back and in your pelvis and get things kind of moving around. And now we're gonna add the Kegel. So you're going to inhale, repair. We're gonna exhale. You're going to find your Kegel. You're going to push through the feet as you lift your bottom up to the ceiling, doing a bridge, and then inhale back down. Exhaling into your Kegel, pushing up, holding our Kegel still, holding your Kegel as you lower, and then release. Breathe in. Exhaling all that tension away. <sighs> Find your Kegel. Push up to the ceiling. Hold your Kegel as you lower. Try to keep holding it. Now make sure when you let it go here, there was something actually to let go. Let's do two more. Breathing in. Exhaling. Find your Kegel. Lifting up. And then back down. Now this next one, we're going to do the same thing. Inhale, exhale, find your Kegel. Now here we go, we're going to stay up there and do hip dips. So you're going to lower one hip down with your inhale. You exhale and push it back up to the ceiling. Put your hands on your hips. So one hip stays against that hand as the other hip lowers away from the hand, exhaling as you come up. Inhale, the hip drops down. Exhale, Kegel and up. Inhale, lower the other hip down. Exhale, 
Kegel and out. Let's do two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Kegel and lift. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Kegel and lift. You should be feeling work happening in your glutes, in your hamstrings, and in your low back. And let's gently lower back down. Our last exercise, we're gently going to rock the knees from side to side. When you do this one, you want to make sure that you're uh, not twisting into uncomfortable positions. You're just being gentle with yourself. So you're going to inhale and take the knees over to the side. You exhale to Kegel and feel your core turn on as you bring your legs back to center. We're going to inhale to the other side. Exhaling into your Kegel and back to your center and feel that lovely strength of your core. Inhale and exhale. Kegel. This is such a good one for low back stiffness and sacroiliac joint pain. Inhale away. Exhaling. Here we go. Last two exercise or last two repetitions. Inhale over to the side. Open up that spine, exhaling, Kegel back to center. Only go far as it feels comfortable for you. Breathing in and exhaling back to center. Straighten out one leg, straighten out the other leg. Give your body a little wiggle. Good. And rolling onto your side to sit up. And that's it. Have fun with that one.